no. there's also WiMAX. Right. So you may have also heard about the term 4G. And actually, LTE is the first technology that's going to bring operators to 4G technology. So LTE, as today, is still a 3.9G technology. But as of 2010, will become recognized as a 4G technology. So that will be the next generation of what you're seeing today with EVDO and HSPL. Yeah, and how does that relate to WiMAX? So WiMAX is another uh, technology that's providing similar performance to LTE. Today, um, Sprint and Clearwire have a WiMAX network that already provides very high performance in the field. LTE is another technology that provides similar kind of performance that will be deployed by the other two uh, operators, Horizon and AT&T. And they're both going to provide similar type of performance uh, in the field. And is this going to affect voice at all? Yes, yeah, so I mean, voice uh, in the early days will probably remain on CDMA and GSM. But in the future, voice will also migrate onto LTE uh, using what's called VOIP, which is voice over IP. That is sending voice as data packet on your uh, mobile networks. You may have heard also of Verizon launching Skype. Um, on their network today, Visa is similar to that uh, what Skype is using. Skype is using voice over IP and on LTE the, the, the voice will be carried pretty much the same way as Skype is today. Because of voice over IP, what it also means is that the voice services can be better integrated with data services, which means that you can have a you know, video conference call going on and, and sharing your work for, with your work colleague, have the voice and video all integrated and sharing your work and doing collaboration works directly with the voice services integrated to your data services.